Hello and welcome to the clinic. So today we're going to investigate whether you have a lazy eye because you tell me that your right eye has been very blurry for a number of years but you've never had an eye examination to investigate. So we're just going to be performing a series of eye examinations, mini tests, non-invasive you might find them relaxing, except for when we have to pop some eye drops in a little bit lighter. But other than that, we'll get straight to it and have a little look at the status of your eyes. So, as with anything, as an optometrist, the first thing I have to do is to check your vision. So I want you to cover your left eye with the palm of your hand like so. Do not apply any pressure directly to the globe and we will use the reduced Snellen chart here just to see what you can read down to. Okay, just have a look at the Snellen chart in front of you. Starting from left to right at the top, have a little read down on the chart as far as you can please. Now try this row. Let us see it. Just here. Okay, let me record the results there. For the right eye. 624. Okay, I want you to cover the other eye for me now with the palm. Again, just looking at the reduced Snellen chart, read down from right to left as far as you can saying the letters. And here, and here, and here. Okay, try this row for me, please. Excellent. So, much better vision through the left eye. just going to do a cover test using the occluder here. Keep looking into the distance at the model eye there. I'm just going to cover one eye at a time. Checking for a strabismus. Yes. It looks as though there is a turn in the right eye. The right eye is potentially turning in. There we go. So we need to investigate this turn a little bit more. So we're going to move on to the Hirschberg test. The Hirschberg test. Okay. Just involves you keeping both eyes open looking directly into the light, please. And I'm just going to observe the corneal reflexes. Yes, so the reflex in the left is what you'd expect. The reflex in the right eye certainly moved. Again, indicates that we have a squint now. Okay, all right. I'm just going to go a little bit further. I need to use the prism bars now in front of your eyes. This is known as the Krimsky test. And I'm going to attempt to measure. of the deviation of the right eye. Okay, so I'm going to use the base head. So I want you to keep looking at the light and I'm just going to move the prism bar down. Turn the light down there. Keep looking at the light. I'm just going to measure the magnitude of the deviation. 
location there. Okay. Right, excellent. Keep looking straight. I'm just going to go between points there. Just a fine tune and line up the corneal reflexes. do another simple test. This is the Bruckner test. So I want you to look at the light again. This time I'm going to look through the ophthalmoscope and I'm just going to observe the reflex from the retina. I'm just looking for an increased brightness or movement away from a red reflex more towards a white one. away clues now, so the right eye, the right eye is a little bit brighter, maybe more of a wide reflex, yeah, I think that right eye is showing telltale signs of deviating here, using the broken test, excellent. I think we're going to have a little look at the pupils, again using the pen torch shining a light in the eyes. Okay, keep looking at the model eye in the distance. Now this one is a little bit brighter. Okay, good. Looking for sizes. Swinging. Direct. Consensual. And just another swinging flashlight test there. Keep looking at the model eye over my shoulder. So six millimeters, direct right and left. Consensual. Excellent. A negative for a relative afferent pupillary defect there. Good. Good pupils. All normal. Okay, so I just want you to pop on those 3D glasses that are next to you. Now we're going to do a test that checks for stereopsis, which is basically your depth perception, judging where things are. Okay. Just looking at the page here, you can see that there's a butterfly there. Do you see a butterfly anywhere else? in this frosted zone with those lenses on. Look closely. Not seen. Okay. Okay, looking at the shapes here, we have a square, a triangle, a diamond, a circle, and the cross, which is in the centre. I want you to try and find where the circle is within the space here. Is it here, 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 or here? Now try and find the diamond. Can you see where the diamond is? What about the triangle there? What about the square here? Is it the square? No. So that's negative. So we would expect very poor stereopsis or none at all with a squint with an amblyopic eye. Have a stereo TNR test. Negative zero. Okay, that's fine. Moving on.
important that we dilate your eyes today with an eye drop called cyclopentalite. Cyclopentalite, it's going to leave you a little bit blurry afterwards for a few hours. Do not drive following installation. Essentially what the drop is going to do, it is going to stop your eye from focusing by acting around the crystalline lens so that you don't get any accommodation. Okay, so just looking up to the ceiling, we're going to pop a drop in the right and the left eye. Just stings ever so slightly for a few seconds. Just take a blink now. Good. Let's pop a drop in the left eye. Okay, just blink, sit back and relax. Has the stinging worn off there? Excellent. So essentially we are using these drops for two reasons. One is to look in the back of the eyes with a slightly more dilated pupil. But the main reason is to knock out the accommodation, which is the movement of the lens becoming fatter, stop the focus so we can then perform retinoscopy to check what prescription you need in your spectacles. Okay, in your spectacles to try and improve the vision in the lazy eye. Okay, so just while we're waiting, we're going to dim the room lights. I'm going to come a little bit closer with the ophthalmoscope. Just have a little look at the anterior eye portion there. Uh, push up to come quite close, right to right, left to left, and always start with the right eye. Okay, so looking at the interior portion, fine. The crystalline lens is clear. Let's alter the magnification there, or we'll reduce the magnification. Smaller beam here, I just want you to look into the light so I can observe the uh, macula and fovea. Okay, thank you. Okay, just looking straight, I just want to have a little look with the red free filter. are starting to dilate nicely there. Okay, let's go a little bit closer. Just looking at the left eye now. First thing we'll do is check the anterior eye, the conjunctiva, the lids, lashes, good. Okay. And to the crystalline lens there. Again, it looks clear in the left eye. The non-blurry eye of of the 
Zero retinal grip. Okay, switch to the green filter here. There we go. There we go. Take a blink. Okay. Let's switch apertures now. Okay, this is the small spot beam. Just looking into the light. region and the fovea. So a much brighter foveal light reflex at the left macula. Good. The macula was clear in the right but we have a much dimmer foveal light reflex there. So make a mental note of all these things. Good. Okay. We just sit back for a few seconds. I'm just going to record those results. Give the eye drops a little bit more time to work as well. Just in front, it's not going to touch your eye. So let's just try a different lens. description in this eye as expected. Maybe a plus R50 diopterosphere for the left. Excellent. Excellent. in this eye expected. So I think we're going to prescribe some spectacles. It may not improve your vision over time, but it may give you a little bit better vision overall. But the, the limit of the vision in the right eye will certainly be peaked. We won't be able to push it to work any harder, but we might be able to make the vision a little bit better. It 
draws on my help to prevent the strain pull you experiencing over the right head here and around the socket so that's pretty much everything I'm just going to record the prescription there and I'm going to send you through to the dispensing area to select some spectacles so I'm accounting for the working distance there So the prescription in the right eye is plus 0.5 diopters. There's no cylindrical element there. The left eye is plus 3.5 diopters. So in other words, you do have a lazy left eye. The left lens is going to be a little bit thicker than the right. But we can certainly have a look at thinning the lens down for you. Now I want you to try and wear your glasses on a full-time basis. I'm going to see you again in three months time after wearing the glasses, the spectacles, just to see how you're getting on and check the vision again. So that's everything in the test room. Just make your way into the waiting area and somebody will be with you shortly.